Hello and welcome. My name is George and my channel is all about helping you get the most out of Logic Pro so that you can record and produce your best music in your home studio. Today we're going to look at the stereo delay plugin in Logic Pro to help add some width to our lead vocal track. We're also going to use it to add some depth and space to our lead vocal track as well. So let's dive in. Okay, so here I've got my Logic project all loaded up here. I've got my lead vocal right here. And in a previous video, we added some compression and some EQ. So feel free to check that out if you're interested in that. I'll start by playing the isolated vocal without any reverb or delay so that you can hear how it sounds like dry with just some EQ and compression on there. When I look in your eyes, I see you slipping away. It kills me inside, don't want to hurt you this way. When you're here by my side, I feel you slipping away. Tell you a lie, I just need you to stay. So obviously we want to try and add some space and width to this track. And today we're going to be using the stereo delay to do that. So I'm going to start by opening up my mixer. And here's my lead vocal track. And you'll see on my track I have two sends that are currently inactive. I got bus one and bus two, which are here, bus one and bus two. And those are both uh, reverb. So I have a space designer here with the short reverb loaded in and another space designer with a longer reverb loaded in. But what I'm going to do is create one more send and this will be for my stereo delay. So I'm going to go on the bottom here, click there, go to bus and I'll go to the next available bus which is bus 3. And then now you'll see that that created a new track right here called Aux 3. And I can simply double click and rename that to whatever I'd like. So I'm gonna rename that to Stereo Delay. Now before adding the plugin onto this Aux track, I'm just gonna go up here and click this little circle. And now it'll make sure that my Aux track is a stereo track. Since we're gonna be loading in a Stereo Delay, which is a stereo plugin, I wanna make sure that my Aux track is in stereo as well. So I'm gonna click right here to add the plugin. I'm going to go down to delay, stereo delay, and then click on stereo. And now, as you can see, we have our stereo delay. So the way a stereo delay works is it's basically two delays in one. You have settings for the left side and settings for the right side, and they can be independent of each other. So it'd be the same as having two delays just panned one all the way to the left and one all the way to the right. Now one of the settings we want to take a look at right off the bat is the output. And we want to make sure that's set at 100%. The reason for that is we're going to be controlling how much signal gets sent to this delay using this send right here. So basically the volume of the delay is going to be controlled by this send rather than controlling the volume using the output mix controls right here. Now if we start at the top here. Here we've got our delay time. So this is going to control the rate at which the words are repeating. So right now on our left, we have it set to quarter notes. And this will be dependent on the tempo of our track, which is right now 78 beats per minute. So if you record it to a click, then this will sync up uh, depending on what you put your value at. If you didn't record to a click, however, then you'll want to go by delay time and use your ears to dial in the time that way. You can turn off the sync by going over here, turning that off, and now you'll see that it's in milliseconds rather than displaying the note values. I'm going to go back to tempo sync. And so you can simply change it here based on the value, or you can click on the values, or you can go in between as well and dial it in this way. So what I like to do a lot of the times is in one side, I'll have a 16th note. And in the right side, for example, I'll have an eighth note, which it's already currently set at that. And now moving further down here, we've got a low cut and a high cut. 
So we can use this to only delay certain frequencies. So a lot of times with vocals, I don't usually want to delay the low end frequencies. So I'll pull this up maybe around uh, 200 hertz. And then you could do the same with the high cut or leave it as is. If you have a really bright vocal and there's lots of uh, S's that are kind of poking through, then you might want to pull, consider pulling this back maybe to the 7,000 hertz range. And I'm going to do the same thing to the right side. And then down here, we've got feedback. So this is the amount of delays that you're going to get. So if you bring this feedback up, the words are going to repeat themselves more times. And if you bring this down, then you're going to get less repeats. So I'll demonstrate that quickly. So I'll actually, let's mute the left side. So we're just going to hear the right side now because I've brought this all the way to zero. And I'll press play and I'll start bringing the level up using the send here. So right now we're not sending anything to our delay. And when I start bringing, clicking and dragging, which is going to bring this up and you'll see that little green start to get more and more. So that means I'm sending more signal to our bus, which is going to pass through the delay. And I'll just move this over here so you can actually see how that's working. So as I bring this up, you're going to see signal in here on this delay track. When I look in your eyes, I see you slipping away. It kills me inside, don't want to hurt you this way. When you're here by my side, I feel you. So you can hear those delays at the end there. So if I bring this feedback down, let's say to 7%, we're going to get less of those delays. When I look in your eyes, I see you slipping away. Right, so less than when we had it uh, up here at around 35, I believe. And then as well, you could see signal happening on this track here. So what's happening is the send, as I bring this up, that's sending more signal to this track, which passed through the delay plugin, and then we're getting that delay. So there's a few different levels of controls. You have the feedback, which is the amount of delays that are happening, but then the amount that you're sending to this track is going to affect the overall volume and amount of delay that you're getting. So I'm going to bring up my left channel back to 100% so that we can hear that. And my feedback, I'm going to bring that down to 15%. How much feedback you have is going to depend a little bit on the effect that you're going for. If you want what's called a slapback effect, you'd want a shorter feedback. But since this is a bit of a slower tempo song, I'm going to have a little bit of a longer feedback here so that the delays stick around a little bit more. So I'm going to bring this back down to zero and I'm going to slowly dial that in to an amount that I like for the delay. When I look in your eyes, I see you slipping away. It kills me inside, don't want to hurt you this way. When you're here by my side, I feel you slipping away. Tell you a lie, I just need you to say. So there you can hear how we have a different delay in the left when compared to the right. So on the left, they're happening quicker and in the right, a little bit slower since we have eighth notes in the right and 16th notes in the left. So that gives us a bit of a vocal doubling effect. We're actually hearing three vocals in different times happening because we have the lead up the middle and then we have one delay in the left and one delay happening at a different time in the right and that's just going to help our vocals sound nice and wide so i'll just do a quick little before and after so i'll mute the send here and i'll bring that in so you can hear the difference that the stereo delay makes when I look in your eyes, I see you slipping away. It kills me inside, don't want to hurt you this way. When you're here by my side, I feel you slipping away. Tell you a lie, I just need you to stay. 
And a lot of times I like combining the stereo delay with some reverb as well. So I'll just bring in those other two sends that I had before. So that's a short and long reverb. I did a previous video on vocal reverb. So if you'd like, you can check that out. So with the reverb and the delay, this is how the track sounds now. When I look in your eyes, I see you slipping away. It kills me inside, don't wanna hurt you this way. When you're here by my side, I feel you slipping away. Tell you a lie, I just need you to stay. Now I'll add the track in so you can hear what that sounds like in the mix. So as you can hear, we now have a nice wide vocal with some depth and some space, in large part due to the stereo delay, but a little bit of reverb in there as well. I hope this helped demystify the stereo delay plugin for you. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments. And if you're looking to improve your workflow in Logic Pro, don't forget to download my free Logic Pro hotkey cheat sheet by following the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.